Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple cash counter GY that will have abbreviations. So if you give it something like 1000, one it will say 1k. And if you type in a big number, it will format it. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the Thunderbolt tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to add a module to replicated storage and we'll rename it to number formatter. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a table. We're going to call it powers. We'll see what it's used for. And then we're going to have another table called abbreviations. And it's going to be equal to a table, but this one will be filled up. So we're going to have uh, K. So the first one is going to be... Uh, uh, 1000 so it's going to be 1k then we want a uh, million so m and uh, then uh, we want uh, b for billion and then we want trillion you can add the other abbreviations if you need them you can add whatever is after trillion but i'm not going to do that okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop through uh through the abbreviations so from one to hashtag abbreviations uh do and what we're going to do is table.insert, we're going to insert the uh, power stable, uh, and we're going to do 1000 to the power of i. Oh, 1000 to the power of i. Okay, uh, the next thing we need to do now is to uh, make a function. So I'm going to have a function uh, that we will be able to use if you want to have uh, other types of formatting, and it's going to be called check number. And it's going to take a number, of course. And what I'm going to do is, if not to number, uh, number, oh, uh, number, then return uh, false. And then we're going to do, if number is not equal to number, to check if it's an N. Then we're going to return false. And if uh, all of these are, uh, if all of these don't run, then we're just going to return true. So in this case, it's going to be a number. Okay, so we're going to have another function, and it's going to be called uh, the function module.format. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to call it abbreviation, abbreviation format. And what I'm going to do is, uh, it's going to take a number, of course. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do if not check for number, and uh, we're going to send the number, then we'll just return. So we're going to stop and not continue. So if uh, the number that we that we gave to the function is not a number, if we, for example, send a string, it's going to just stop. Okay, uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the absolute. So local abs uh, absolute equals uh, math.abs, and it's going to be the number. And now I'm going to check if uh, the absolute is less than a thousand, then we're just going to return the number itself because it is less than a thousand, so there's no need to format it. Uh, we're also going to return two string number. Sorry. And now, uh, oh, can type. Okay, so uh, if all of these conditions are met, then we're going to have to format it. So local power, and it's going to be equal to math.min. And we're going to do math.floor, and it's going to take uh, math.log10, and the absolute, and we're going to divide the whole thing by 3. Okay, and then we're going to do hashtag abbreviations. Okay, so now we're going to do local num, and it's going to be equal to, and I'm just going to do math.floor, and we're going to do absolute divided by i'm going to add a space divided by powers square brackets uh power so we're going to choose the power that we need uh and we're going to multiply that by 100 and we're going to divide everything by 100 okay uh now what we need to do is uh, get the final formatted version of the number so local formatted equals the number and we're going to multiply that by math.sign and we're going to send the number, and then we'll uh, add dot dot, I think I'll add, I'll put it here, dot dot, and abbreviations, 
and square brackets and we're gonna get the power okay and we're gonna return formatted okay so what i'm gonna do is check if this works i'm going to add a script to service script service and i'm going to do local format number equals require equals require uh, game dot replicated storage dot format number dot number formatter and uh, i'll just call this a uh, number formatter number formatter and we're going to do print number formatter dot format number dot uh, abbreviation format uh i think we're going to give give a better name to this function i'm going to call it format with abbreviate or maybe uh abbrevi okay with abbreviation i think that's good uh dot format with abbreviation and we're going to send in a 1000 i want to see if that's going to work so i'm going to go here and i'll just run this first of all I'll open up the output and i'm going to run this okay and let's see what happens uh, i don't know why but my studio has been very slow recently every time i uh, test something it takes forever okay so it's uh, it uh, returned 1k now what if we give it uh 1200 okay so it's uh, 1.2k and i'm going to try it with uh, 5256 okay so that worked uh, now what i want to do is uh just try it out with a really big number so uh just whatever this is and okay that's about i think it's six million actually it's probably 61 million okay so it works it printed 61.98 million okay so now i'm going to show you how to uh do the uh how to do the um currency gy so we're going to add a script to service script service to create the leader stats first and uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to get players, local players, local uh, players, equals game, come on, get service players. And we're going to do players dot player added, come on, connect function. And that's going to take the player. And whenever a new player is added, what we're going to do is we're going to create a leader stats folder, uh, instance dot new folder. And we're going to do leader stats dot name equals leader stats and leader stats dot parent equals. And we're just going to do the player. Now we need to create the cache, so local cache equals instance dot new, and it's going to be an int value, and cache dot name equals cache, and cache dot value equals uh, zero, and cache dot parent equals leader stats. And if you play the game now, you should have uh, the leader stats showing up on your leaderboard. Okay, so it's almost loaded. Okay, so as you can see, it works. We have our cache value over here. And what I'm going to do now is, uh, so I'm just going to rename this script to leader stats. And I'm going to add a uh, screen GY to start a GY. So screen GY. I'm going to call it uh, something like currency GY. And I'm going to add a uh, text or a text label. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to change the text to uh, maybe 1.5 million just for testing purposes. Text scale will be true. And uh, the font to Fredoka one. Uh, Fredoka one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to add a UI corner to make it look a bit better. And I'm going to change the corner radius to uh, 0 0.5, 1. And I'm going to add a uh, UI stroke. And I'm going to change the stroke to be around the uh, uh, text label itself. So border. And I'm just going to leave it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the size to scale. So I'm going to change the size to 0 0.1, 0, 0, 0, 0.1, 0. And now if you scale it using these, uh, the things that you drag, uh, now it's converted to scales. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll uh, call this uh, cache display or cache counter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a local script. And this is going to be called currency display. And what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to rename it to currency counter. And I'm going to do local currency 
so the currency that we want to uh, count is uh, hash and then we're gonna get the players local players equals game we'll get service players and then we need to get replicated storage so local replicated storage equals game we'll get service replicated storage and those are all the services that i need the next thing i'm going to do actually i will also need to run service maybe actually there's no need for that what i'm going to do is local currency value and we're not going to set that yet because we need to get the player, which is going to be equal players dot local player, and then we will need to uh, to uh, get the leader stats. So local leader stats equals player colon wait for child leader stats, and local currency value equals leader stats colon wait for child, and we're gonna do uh, currency. Okay. Now I'm going to do currency value dot changed colon connect function and we're gonna have a function over here local function update counter and what we're gonna do is uh script dot parent so script dot parent is going to be the text label so we can either just type in script dot parent here or, or you can make that a, ver a variable uh, so what we can do here is do local uh, text label equals script dot parent and in here we're going to do text label dot text and it's going to be called uh, the uh, format number module so we're going to require it so we're going to go up here and we're going to do local number formatter equals require replicated storage we're going to wait for child and we're going to do number formatter and in here, what I'm going to do is text label dot text, and it's going to be equal to a uh, number formatter dot format uh, with abbreviation, and it's going to uh, we're gonna feed it the currency value dot value. Okay, and call it connect, and we're just going to call the update counter function, and then we'll also need to just call it here before uh, this happens. And if you play the game now, that should hopefully work. Okay, so I'm going to try to give myself some cash. So I'm going to go to the server and the cash, and I want that to be uh, something like a thousand. And it works, 1K, and I'm gonna set it to 1,562 and 1.556K. And I'm going to try to just type in a really big number and i'll just do this and 119.41 million okay so that's going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye